hello guys uh, uh, this is shubhro and today i review and load test of uh, apro uh, 3200 24 volt mpvt solar charge controller with 100 ampere rating and now the load is 29 percent and uh, and uh, you can see that 2.96 percent almost 3 ampere ac load ac load this uh, my main mcb is down here and this is solar M this is this is solar mcb uh, lithium and phosphate battery iron phosphate battery <coughs> so i gonna increase the load uh, and uh, test it maximum load capacity uh, as you see is uh, 26.6 volt and uh, output is 229 uh, AC load 29 percent uh, maximum solar uh, yeah, 49 kilowatt uh, solar um, charge ampere 0 solar load 5 ampere okay now see the high, uh, how mass it can take the highest load now you see in the load capacity is 7.67 uh, 7.67 ampere and uh, here you see 26 volt from battery and 229 volt this is uh, pretty good and 83 percent of load here okay solar generation 49 kilowatt it is uh, five and a half and uh, from solar 5 ampere only it is uh, 1734 pm 26 volt and now i sh show you the D dc amp this is ac amp 7.6 ampere 7.65 ampere this is too high and now i change it ac amp to DC millivolt, AC millivolt, DCM. Okay, and you see here 71.5 amp, 71.5 amp from lithium fossil battery. It is 180 <coughs> ampere, 180 ampere rating, 3.2 volt lithium iron phosphate. And uh, now you can see that it is uh, 73. It is 73 because uh, when you uh, when you when you switch uh, to the negative terminal, you can uh, get the X actual uh, rating. Okay. Now I increase the load uh, to turn on my light and fan of another room, and it is most probably 81 amp, 83 amp, 83 amp. Uh, I it is 83.9. Okay, it is 83.83.9 amp, 83.6 amp, 83.7. Okay, now you can see the load percentage: 25.8 volt and 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 now 94 percent of load. 94 percent of load. Uh, you can see the screen. Uh, this is. Uh, from solar charging current zero and uh, solar load current also, um, that means only five only five and <coughs> here it's 83.9 almost 84.7 8 85 85 load capacity <coughs> now you see the load capacity load percentage uh, this is 5 ampere from solar is directly put through the uh, main output 234 volt and load 94 percent and uh, this machine <coughs> can easily handle it so i want to show you how much the load capacity on the ac ampere you can see here it is a ac rating 8.12 8.5 8 8.45 8.45 and <coughs> now I test it 100 ampere sorry 100% and more load
as you see here is 5 percent from 5 ampere from solar 1738 pm 25.8 volt to 32 and 99 percent of load which is pretty good and 8.76 amp 8.78 almost 8.82 you see here uh, now I down the main MCB and uh, no light and uh, no uh, grid uh, is connected here so and you see here is 8.8.82 ampere wow it is pretty good it is pretty good it is pretty good 8.83 amp and <coughs> you can see the solar charging 4 ampere and it is 25.8 volt from battery and 232.0 volt 99% load it is amazing it is amazing and now I show you the DC current AC millivolt DC ampere I DC ampere how much it is it is 87 87 guys it is 87 ampere and it can 86 85 it is 86.5 85 it is 88 point it is 88.4 amp wow you can see here it is 88 point 86.9 87 probably amp from battery and this daily bms is uh, pretty good <coughs> now i am testing the load ampere from it it is 88.86 8.86 amp and now you see here 25.8 volt and ac volt 232 so the calculation is uh, 8.88 multiply 232 sorry 8.88 into 232 and you can see here it is uh, um, about uh, it is about 2 kilowatt load uh, 2060 watt load it can be easily handed at 99 percent load and now the battery again 25.8 into uh, into it is uh, 85 plus from solar we can uh, file we can uh, we can generate we can found that uh, uh, it is 5 so 89 89 it is uh, uh, 200 <coughs> 2296 watt so uh, uh, you can see in there a loss about There is a loss about 23 to 32 into 8.88. Okay, uh, which is about 236 watt uh, loss. This machine consume uh, when it get a maximum output, it loses it, it consume 236 or 236 watt uh, load. Uh, now you can. Uh, uh, now you can share uh, I can share you this load per sentence 236.4 and into 1 double zero divided by it is almost 10 percent it is almost you can see it is almost 10 percent loss so uh, I can uh, yes uh, I can say you that uh, this um, PCU can handle uh, more than uh, 20 to 2 kilowatt load 20 which is uh, probably uh, 2100 and it can easily uh, can uh, drive it and uh, there is only 10 percent then the efficiency uh, it is about uh, 90 percent of it so it is a very it is a very good uh, product from apro 
EGLM3200 2400 solar but uh, I can uh, suggest you you uh, when you buy and install it in your home for you must uh, include it uh, with uh, lithium battery and with proper BMS without BMS uh, my last machine uh, is Smartin 2500 which can malfunction and uh, get uh, the near about destroy my lithium phosphate battery and you can see after this I can and uh, add this BMS it is daily BMS it is you can see it is daily daily uh, 100 ampere rating and uh, it can easily handle uh, above 90 ampere load and so that's all thank you